It is summer 1957. I was talking to a visitor the other day, and we were discussing the town of Dorky. He said it's a lovely place, but so very quiet. Nothing ever seems to happen there. Naturally, I disagreed with him. The horse grazing peacefully here within a stone's throw of Castle Street, the main street of Dorky, helps to create this wrong impression because behind this apparent air of tranquility there is much activity which we hope to show you in this little film of ours. Feeding the strays. The ruins of the old church of St. Begnes. The church of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary in Castle Street. The parochial house, Maisie the priest's housekeeper, and Father Kelly, one of our curates. Solving the problems of the world. A farmyard in Castle Street in Dorky and the Harold Boys School. Many a brilliant scholar has been produced by the school and the boys derive great enjoyment growing their own vegetables at the garden at the back of the school. Dorky's Consorial artist. The old curiosity shop. It is Sunday morning and the fateful arrive for Holy Mass. Father Maloney, another of our curates. Desi, the church sacristan. Mass has ended and the women folk go home to prepare the Sunday meal while the men folk take the children for a walk while the meal is being prepared.
Some may have walked down to Bullock, which is a short distance from the town of Dawkey, a quaint old world harbour with safe anchorage for a variety of boats. The houses in the quarry at Bullock, Church of Ireland Church, the Loretto Abbey, the Children of Mary procession in Loretto Abbey on a Sunday afternoon. Grotto in Loretto Abbey. It's not all work and no play for the students of Loretto Abbey as they enjoy a game of tennis. The Feast of Corpus Christi is honoured with great reverence in Dorky. On the Sunday nearest the feast, people from all walks of life gather together to pay homage to the Blessed Sacrament. The procession forms up outside the church and proceeds through the streets to Loretto Abbey. Benediction of the Blessed Sacrament is given from an altar set against the background of the blue sea. The procession wends its way back to the Church of the Assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Our parish priest, very reverend Canon Rafter. Faithful disperse after final benediction in the church.
The local postman makes his collection from the wall box. The national beverage. Short back and sides. Will I take much off the top? A link with the past. An old tram car now used as a summer house. And to the present, Dorky Railway Station as the business people await the arrival of the diesel train to take them to Dublin. Put on a spurt, mister, you won't make it. Some people prefer to go by bus. We are inside the bus now. Fares, please. The tour bus arrives to show the visitors the beauty of Dorky. It is election day. Some said yes, some said no, and someone didn't say anything at all. Inside the polling booth, we are in the dark about the result. Picking the winner of the 2.30 race, I mean. Did you say yes or did you say no? The baby in the pram in the safe custody of the law. Contest of a different kind, a soccer match between a team from Ring's End and one of the Darky teams. Now to one of the greatest events of the year. At great inconvenience to the housewives of Dorky, the annual match between the married men and the single men. The married men determined to show that the cares and worries of married life has not slowed them down one bit. And the single men determined to prove otherwise.
Now a slower sport, but just as interesting. Rock climbing in Darky Quarry. It is here that the climbers practice for their attacks on the treacherous peaks of Snowdon, the Alps, and maybe Everest. The rock taken from the quarry here was used in the construction of the Dunleary Pier and other buildings in the vicinity. Here we have schoolboys playing Gaelic football and who knows, we may have some All-Ireland players of the future who one day will grace the green sward of Croke Park. Cricket at Castle Park, a quiet game for the summer evenings. The annual 30 mile cycle race which starts in Castle Street and climbs up Dorky Avenue to a height of 500 feet above sea level at Killiney, then sweeping down the famous Vico Road at speeds of 35 miles an hour. It's 10 laps of this 3 mile circuit. Conditions were very bad as it was raining all day and during the race. Twilight on the sound at Dorky. Coleamor Harbour, this is the one didn't get away. Weighing lobsters during a competition. The complete angler. Darky rowing skiff. Any more for the island? Not a bite. And still not a bite. No, no good, no bites. The Vico bathing place, set against one of the most beautiful backgrounds in the world, Kalini Bay. The pool for those who do not like it too deep and the open sea for the deep sea boys. Some men go down to the sea in ships, but these men prefer the ladder. This is the annual gala at Bullock, sponsored by the Dorky Swimming Club.
It is evening now and the crowds have gone home from the gala and before we leave we will take a look at Bullock Castle, one of the best preserved examples of Gothic architecture remaining. It was once the home of Dr. Petri, the well-known archaeologist. You have seen Dorky in black and white, now we change to colour to show how the beauty of Dorky speaks for itself. The ruins of the church on the island. Martello Tower. The gun emplacements on the southern tip of the island. Muglin's Lighthouse. The only inhabitants of the island are the goats. You have heard of mountain goats, but Darkie has its island goats, whose kingdom it is. This is the freshwater well on the island. Sunday afternoon in Sorrento Park. Rental Terrace. William Bolfin, in his book Rambles Through Erden, has compared Coliney Bay with the Bay of Naples. Vico Road, White Rock. The entrance to the White Rock. An aerial view of the Vico Road. the island in the background and beyond that the Muglin Lighthouse. The tea rooms on Kalini Beach. The Druid's chair without the Druid's.
It's the first turn on the left. Kalini Castle. Dorkey's Burma Road. Kalini Hill. The Wishing Stone. The large obelisk. A nice quiet walk on Kalini Hill on a Sunday afternoon. A pastoral scene near Kalini Hill. Sisterly love and friendship. Talker Cottage, the home of George Bernard Shaw for a number of years. The Cat's Ladder, which leads from the Vico Road up to Talker Road. A view from the cat's ladder and another view from the cat's ladder. The green road which runs parallel with Vico Road. The eagle watches over the Vico Road. View from Darkey Hill towards Dunleary, with Hoth in the background. The ruins on Darkey Hill. Steps at Dorky Quarry. Lockies. A farmyard on the side of the hill. Dahlia, in all its majestic glory, no words of mine could adequately describe the beauty of the dahlias as seen here in the Darcy Garden. Roger the dog admires the dahlias.
Church has ended on a Sunday morning. things must come to an end. The children's school holidays end and the scholars return to school, some willingly, some reluctantly. And so we come to the end of our film and we hope that you have enjoyed looking at Dorky and his people and unlike our visitor, do not find Dorky a quiet town where nothing ever happens. <laughs>